This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. I mean, a lot of teams canceled the games. We only had one game canceled at the end that ended up getting remade in the, in the bowl game. These guys just work hard, hard all summer, work hard all uh, spring, even though it got cut short, work hard in the quarantine at home. That's that integrity factor. And you can't do anything but just thank God and uh, just show love because that hard work was so persevered at this point because you can't make anybody do something at home and you just love to see it i mean i'm just really uh happy really excited M malika you you picked up a lot of third downs with your legs it, it seemed like they were trying everything they could do to, to, to slow you but couldn't uh, do it what how did you feel out there moving around it seemed like uh, you just kept finding open space uh, I was just trying to take what they could give me, uh, using my guy given abilities to uh, move the sticks when we needed them to uh, and try to stop forcing things downfield when they weren't there. Uh, I had two picks. <laughs> that can't happen, and I got to get better at that. Uh, it's just going to be me uh, just knowing the situation and knowing what we need for the moment. And it, just what was your first thought, you know, when that fumble at, at the goal line happens at the end of regulation? We'll be okay. I didn't want uh, J Mac to get down on himself. Uh, like I said, I, mean, I haven't been the best at all times. I had three picks in the State game. I can't be all on down jumping down his throat because a uh, mistake. I mean, everybody makes mistakes as part of the game. Uh, those guys on the other side will make plays too, and we just got a short memory and keep trying to get better. You know. It, was that a weird situation because you're trying not to score, but they're trying to bring him in? Just what was that dynamic like? for those couple of plays? It was weird because we were trying not to score and just trying to uh, get him like inside the five. And, uh, they, tried to, uh, they tried to pull him inside the goal line and I thought they did. I thought it was a touchdown, but they called it fumble. And then I was really like, all right, well, when we get our next opportunity to get on the field, we need to make something happen. Hey Malik, uh... Looking back at this season, Coach Dupree has said this is the arguably the greatest season in Liberty football history. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Do you feel like 10 wins, two wins of ACC teams, and a curable victory qualifies as the greatest season in Liberty football history? Uh, I mean, it's my first season playing. And, uh, being on the field, I mean, it's a great season. I mean, I thought they had a great season last season. Uh, it's just about uh, keep building and keep trying to get better, everybody. And I'm um, just trying to keep it. Um, I mean, if it is the greatest season, that's real cool, but I hope somebody comes out to beat it, including ourselves, you know? And Malik, uh, this year you had a chance, you grew a lot as a quarterback. If you look at, you know, where you were this time last year with Buckshot graduating and taking over the reins and everything, where do you think you grew the most as a quarterback uh, during this season? I think I just got better with, uh, just, I would say not forcing the ball, but that down to two picks, the pack can say, I mean, I got better in all phases, so just my preparation. And I just got to uh, take care of the ball a little better uh, and know that uh, we'll have another opportunity down the field. I don't have to move the stick every single time. I, I don't have to force anything. I just have to continue to uh, take care of football in, in every uh, possession of the kick whether it be a punt, a field goal, or an uh, extra point. Hi, Malik. Uh, congratulations on uh, winning the uh, the bowl game. First of all, how you feel after not playing for almost close to, like, a month? I mean, I feel good. I don't know. I don't know the quarterback. I mean, I'm straight, honestly. I think it was a good job by Coach Dunn and his staff of getting us back right uh, after I had COVID. I mean, I, I didn't feel that bad. Uh, just get me back in there running, get me on the bikes, and uh, make sure I'm working running after. Uh, I think it was a really good thing that I had those guys in that support system. Is it so cool that you, you're coming back next year, and hopefully you guys could, you know, build on this to become some kind of bigger things next year? Yeah, I mean, that, like I said, it's just we got to keep improving everybody. I mean, I know I have to keep improving a lot if I want to uh, be where I want to be and if I want to reach the potential of uh, quarterback and as a football player, I mean, I got to work harder, I got to uh, study harder, I and mean, it's got to be better. So, uh, I got great coaches and we got a great uh, team that uh, will help me do that, and uh, I'll help them be better as well. Last question by Johnny S. 
Hey, Malik. John Simmons with the Liberty Champion here. Congrats on the big win tonight, man. Um, so in the first quarter after your long rush, you got your helmet ripped off, and it seemed like a couple guys wanted to pick a fight. Um, and that was just one moment throughout the game where you guys really had to battle to focus yourselves on the prize that um, you were trying to get, which was the win. How did you um, keep your guys focused? What did your coaches do to keep you guys focused, obviously, when you had – uh, a lot of ups and downs throughout the game, and what was the message that was going on on the sideline? I mean, I told them was in the locker room, like, don't let them get you out of your, like, don't let them get you out of your mindset. We come here to play football. We come here to win. We don't come here for all the extra breaks. Even when I got my helmet ripped off, and they started to get the bump, and I had to go like get in between that and push my guys back. Like, no, that's not the right right way. That's not the way to do it. Uh, we out here playing, uh, just trying to glorify God. I mean, we're not out here to go back and forth with some people talking more crap. I mean, we're just out here trying to uh, enjoy ourselves and play, play the sport we love, you know?